Mm. We ate at Roscoe's yesterday. I don't want to compare you, this to you. You don't, you don't have to. If we have both in front of us right now, I'll be at Parks Fine Woo. getting the macaroni and cheese really? straight like that. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to a very highly requested video of Fung Bros Food. Right now, I am in Echo Park at one of the most unique barbecue spots in all of Los Angeles. Yes, I am talking about the park's finest. And you know I could not do a barbecue food video without another foodie, the grandfather of the in-car food review, none other than Dane Drops. What's yes. going on, baby? Listen, people, okay. my main man, Andrew, hit me up. Uh -huh. He said, Dame, I know you in LA. Yep. I know you haven't had that Filipino barbecue Southern style in your life. I was like, Drew, okay, you absolutely right. We about to go inside. I hope you brought your appetite. It's going down. Let's go. Some type of barbecue that you've probably never had before. Ooh, never had before? Never had before. You sure about that? I'm sure about that. You know why? You never had Filipino flavors before, right? All uh, right, so he's right. I never had. Right. I, barbecue is like a social food. No one ever is at their home just barbecuing for them and one other person. Nah, nah, nah. Now you gotta bring at least five people over. Community bites. Invite people over, yeah. It's bringing people together, and that's what I love about that kind of food. Dame. Drew. The food is dropped. What do you think you're looking at right now? This right here is okay. a problem, a good problem to have. <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting this. I, okay. I won't even stunt. This right here looks like I just slid to a family barbecue spot and I'm about to get busy. And they got the banana leaves here. Uh -huh. They got the, the wood bowls. We need the simple breakdown. So right. one of the co-founders of the park's finest, we got John Erickson. Yeah, Appreciate you. you, John. All right, so we do American cuts of barbecue with a Filipino flavor okay. and traditionally backyard boogie barbecue. Okay. It That's is cool. cuts of meat, dry rub, sauce on the side, and what we want you to taste is the meat, the smoke, the seasoning, mm. the flavor of Southern okay. California provincial hospitality. So that's our beef tri-tip, smoke roasted with pepper blend, our garlic onion blend, and pink Himalayan salt. That's Look. our tomato-based pineapple brown sugar barbecue Ooh. sauce, vinegar soy garlic chili sauce, and our Mexican crema horseradish. That is our Mamalea's coconut beef. That's 16-hour top round cubed then stewed in a coconut cream. <laughs> top of rice that fed 13 people in a three-bedroom apartment. And that's really good hood food. That is the short rib. Ah. That instead of, of cutting it horizontally, we yeah. give you that Chris Rock one rib cut. Our hot link medley. So it's a combination of a red hot, a kielbasa, and a Filipino sweet link. Is this some sort of chicken right. adobo? So we do basically convection oven roasted chicken, oh. and then we continue to smoke it. We season it with olive oil, our pink Himalayan salt, our seasoning. The cornbread here. This is not just any ordinary cornbread. That's Ann's cornbread with bacon. It is cornmeal, rice mm. flour, coconut cream, baked on a banana leaf. So pork ribs. So what we wanted to do is give you a variety. We wanted to give you competition ribs on top of the riblet and nice juicy pork loin flavors. What do you want to start off with, man? Let's just. I'm gonna just start and I'm gonna just keep going. Let's drop that way. I, just, all right, I'll start going. here. I'll yeah. meet you there. In the all, right. all right. Yeah, meet you in the middle, bro. Tender, you bite right through. You have the flavor all in the skin of that short rib. Nice mm. little crisp to it, nothing too crazy. I know you don't Boom. like tomatoes. This is tomato sauce though. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Flavors. Mm. Spicy. Go with the creamy horseradish right here. Mm -hmm. With the spicy sausage. Mmm. Make them wings. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Mm. Great flavor on the skin, man. A lot of pop. Oh yeah. A lot of pop on that skin. Oh yeah. Bro. What sauce we go with? Go with this. All right. This is like the sweet tangy sauces, the vinegar sauces, the creamy horseradish. I'm gonna go with the creamy piece. Hit it with the vinegar. Let's go. Oh wow. That creamy sauce is the type of sauce that you have with like a vegetable platter. Hey, do you ever mm. eat your wings like this? We you break the bone out first. Nope. Do you do that? You don't mm -hmm. do that. And you don't want to even see how that bone come out. I'm getting that some mac and cheese right here. Mm. Mm. Go. That mac and cheese is cheesy. You know your mac and cheese is official when you go hold on the fork like this and it's not all falling apart. Mm. This mac and cheese has so much cheese, I feel that like wow. cheddar kind of tingle feeling. Mm -hmm. You get that when the, in the back of your mouth sometimes, you get that mm. sharp cheddar. That's why they call it sharp cheddar, I think, because it just gives you that sharp feeling right there. This macaroni and cheese so is awesome. lethal. So have you had mochi? It's like a sticky rice. It's like sticky rice dessert. Yes. Babinka traditionally is kind of like a buttery sweet coconut mochi. It's a rice cake, but they've kind of blended the rice cake in with the cornbread. 
Mm. Mm. That's good. It's like it's good. It's like hitting a sweet pound cake. This is crazy. Have you ever had anything that tastes like that? No. Hey, let's try this coconut beef real quick. Coconut beef, the legendary. This is where it's at. Mm. Creamy. I'm Very creamy. That. Thinking of a beef stew with the way the meat is working. What I would love on this is a little bit of this vinegar. I'm gonna take a little little half spoonful, sprinkle it on the beef right there. Mm -hmm. Just to kind of balance everything out. That's what you got with it? Mm. Yes, okay, we are going on to the pork rib. All right, pork rib action. Uh, this does look like the Chinese Ooh. barbecue, like the chashu, the, the barbecue pork that we eat. No sauce. No right sauce, right? Just going right in. That skin is almost like crackling. Well, it rolls off. I want you to pay attention test. to what we have happening right now. Put it to the test. That bone is clean. Clean. That bone is clean. Wow. And now it's time to dip this thing. We're gonna go creamy with it. Bow. Tip it off. Mm. Oh. Oh. That's when you know it's been prepared the right way. Delicious, man. Mm -hmm. What have you been feeling so far, man? I was looking for something that was struggling out of this whole entire platter okay. of greatness that we had before us. Everything here packs its own flavor, packs its own punch. Mm -hmm. What are the top two most unique flavors that you've had so far? That macaroni and cheese wasn't expecting really? to slide to a Filipino barbecue okay. and get macaroni and cheese just as banging as a lot of soul food spots are okay. run up into. Mm -hmm. The ribs uh -huh. and that pork game mm -hmm. have me messed up because <laughs> they're so tender, they melt in your mouth. I have never had anything like that sauce. Never in my life. Jeez. There's a kick, I even, tomato sweet, barbecue, kicking, it's spicy, oh my gosh. I'm still back at this macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I am, I had to go yeah. back here for more. Here's what I like to test about chicken, is if the breast meat is good. Too often the breast meat is dry, but if you can keep it moist and juicy, it's saying something. So I'm just gonna pull the bones off, man. just get, dig Ooh. my fingers into it, oh man. Ooh. Broke up like a relationship, bro. That's how you did it? One thing I did not try yet. Zucchini squash medley. Get it. Squad goals. Everything's so good, man. All right, that wraps up our Filipino barbecue feast. And that was actually like a fusion Filipino barbecue because it was taking influence from all these different cultures, not just Filipino, not just Chinese, not just Latino. It was everything that they had grown up with in Echo Park. I feel like this is such like a local spot. It's gonna be very, very hard to find food that is just like this anywhere else because it almost has to come from this neighborhood. So when he was growing up, this was like pretty good, this area. It's not as hoodie, man. Some, you know, hipsters moving in. But uh, he was just like, I had a barbecue because nobody shoots the DJ or the barbecue person. That is true. And that's why. That Good point, I like that. Yo, you don't shoot the DJ, you don't shoot the guy in the grill, you don't shoot your barber. There's certain no, individuals <laughs> that, that will always make it. And I just never even had some of these flavors all together. So one, I'm mind blown. Two, I'm about to have a food coma. So where are you at? I just love the way that in this kitchen, man, they can sit there, take a whole bunch of items, and pretty much have them just complement one another it when, when it comes to the flavors. It's not too often that you can have a full, complete platter and you can say everything on that plate is amazing. However, every single bite kind of led into the next bite. Yeah. It, no was, like a, it was like a chapter, <laughs> this like a perfect book. We ran through everything that's here, and the Filipino barbecue spot up over here did not fail to deliver greatness. Oh. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. Shout out to Dame Drops. I know you're visiting from Connecticut. You're Sir. doing your thing out there. Thank you so much. Um, I'm so glad we got to link up and do this. Definitely check out his channel for some hype food reviews, Ooh. and definitely, man, you guys check out the Park's Finest in Echo Park. In the comments below, please let us know if there's any other type of fusion or local foods out in LA. I'm gonna try my best to try them. And until next time, we out. Peace. What's going on, people? It's your main man, James Robs. If you love watching food reviews, I got you covered, baby. Check it out in the description box below. Slide on my channel. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to subscribe to the Fun Brothers because they give you nothing but action for your face every single week.